got a zit, giant zit on my head. Holy cow, Al, have you ever noticed how scratched up the back of this chair is from moose? Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Hoppier Days. And this episode, if you couldn't have guessed, is another very special episode. Why, you ask? Because we're drinking today a homebrew, a beer that none of you guys have access to because it's so elite. That's right, this is like one of the biggest white whales because you guys can't get it anywhere. It's a uh, homebrew. This homebrew was given to me from a friend and a coworker because one of his bandmates brews beer. So he uh, gave me this beer. He was like, it's a phenomenal beer. You're going to love it, Sam. You're going to enjoy it. And I was like, all right, cool, thanks. I've never met the brewer, um, but I have seen him up on stage drumming on his drums uh, for the band One Step From Falling. So let's see how uh, the drummer from One Step From Falling did on this quadruple hopped IPA. It's 9.1% alcohol. That's a hefty boy. Full disclosure on this, I typically dislike home brews quite a bit. Usually they taste like metallic and old and gross to me, or they just have an off flavor and I just don't like them that much. I've wanted to drink this guy quick because I also have a fear of it exploding. Uh, I'm not saying anything bad about the brewer, but uh, I've always had a fear of the home brews exploding. Like it's a ticking time bomb right now. Like it could blow up at any second as we sit here and glass will be shot into my face and nipples. Uh, I just don't want that. Closer to the hop is the name of the beer, and it's 9.3% alcohol. It is quadruple hop with 12 different hop additions. So let's give this guy a swallow. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Smells good. Uh, I think it looks pretty frickin' tasty myself. Hey. Wanna give that a smell? Whoa, this is very tasty and it's very boozy. You can definitely tell it's at 9.3. It's strong, it'll put hair on your eyelids. It's very hoppy. It kind of tastes a little bit like dog hish, dog hish fed. It kind of tastes like dog hish fed. It kind of tastes like dogfish head uh, 90 minute IPA. It's got some malt there. It's not like your hazy IPA, so. Uh, I don't know if you guys are bummed out about that. This is a delicious homebrew. Uh. Al, you want to try a homebrew? I can sing him. Hey, that's pretty good. Pretty boozy. That's pretty good. Mm. Oh, good carbonation on this thing. You're getting your vitamin B in, too. You know on Willy Wonka when, uh... Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Charlie and Uncle Joe? What's his Isn't name? Isn't it Grandpa Joe? Grandpa Joe. <laughs> Uncle Joe. <laughs> Actually, Charlie's uh, uncle wasn't in the movie for certain reason. reasons. He wasn't allowed to share the bed with the family. Yeah. Oh, but anyway, you know when they, were, they had to book. Charlie Joe. Er <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Joe. Oh, but anyways, they had to drink that drank to burp so they wouldn't go in the fan. So they No, they had to burp so they wouldn't go into the fan. They drank the drink and they were floating up. Oh, that's what it was. Oof, goodness. Allison does movie reviews. It's going to be the newest <laughs> segment on uh, on my channel. I hope you guys look forward to it. I don't remember any of the characters' names <laughs> or what happened. It's great. Have you ever seen anyone do this before? Though? No. It's magic. Danger! <laughs> yeah, holy smokes, uh, this beer is very good. I really appreciate uh, Steve giving it to me from his bandmate, uh, and I really appreciate you guys letting me drink it and pour it in my body cavity. I'm oven baking some chicken wings, um, and this beer would go excellent with them. Unfortunately, there's like a half an hour cook time still left, and I'm probably not gonna save this for that long. Today, I've drank 
the best homebrew I've ever had in my life. And I've brewed a couple beers back in the day. I made a couple labels, you know, it was fun brewing beers and shit, but it's just so fucking time consuming and like, ugh. The part I liked the most about brewing the beers was designing the labels. That's what I liked the most and like naming them. My dad liked when I brewed beers at home and he could open up the closet where the carboy was and see the little bubbling little airlock. That's what he liked about it. No one really liked the beers themselves. I, I mean, everything else was more fun. You guys want me to design you a beer label? I'll design you a beer label. All right, guys, uh, we got to give this a rating. I would probably give this... Uh, I'd give it like a 50 out of a 60, you know? I mean, well, probably not 50 out of 60. I'd probably get up like a 100. I'd give it a 100 out of 120. That's probably a better rating. Uh, mm, nah, 200 out of 240, I think I'd give this. I think I'd give this 200 out of 240. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, it's looking to probably be a short episode this time, but don't worry, we got more videos to come. It's gonna be an exciting time for watching videos, I guess. All right, guys, remember to check out One Step From Falling. Uh, they ha they're on Spotify, they're on YouTube. Um, check out their newest video on YouTube. I really like it. The song's good and I really like their intro. It's pretty funny. They have some funny videos. Um, I'll link everything in my uh, YouTube D, so check that out. Remember to take your prayers and say your vitamins. Have a good night, folks.